Hey guys, it's Darwin here with my full and final gear list of what I'll be carrying during my 800 mile northbound through hike of the Arizona Trail. All right, so before we get into my gear list and I break everything down and we start talking about gear, I wanted to let you guys know, as I've talked about in a previous video, the film that I'm going out to shoot during my through hike is a sponsored film, which means that not only did the gear companies help out with funding, but they also helped out with some pieces of gear that I'm gonna to show today in my kit. Now, even though the film is sponsored, this video and all of my videos on YouTube are not sponsored. They did not ask me to do these videos and I'm not being paid to do these videos. These are just for you. So now that we have all of that out of the way, let's talk about my gear list for my through hike. So everything in my list is pretty similar to what I finished my through hike of the PCT with last year in 2018, but I did try to change a few things out, mainly on my big three, to try to get that base weight down a little bit more. And I know what you guys are thinking, your base weight that you finished the PCT with was super low, and you're correct, but I am carrying extra filming equipment, plus I'll have to do longer water carries on certain parts of the trail. So I wanted to get that main base weight, my main essential gear, down as low as I possibly could so I could add all that extra weight of camera equipment, stuff like that. So let's open it up, I'll spread out all the gear, we'll talk about it individually, and then at the end, I'll give you my base weight. All right, so let's go ahead and start down here with the pack that I'll be carrying all of this gear in, and that is the Waymark Through 40. Now this is basically the same pack that I finished the PCT with, However, this is a DCF prototype version of the 340, which only comes in at just over 13 ounces. And I'm, I'm pretty excited to take this out on the trail. Mark custom built this for me for this trail. And it's basically to all the same specs that the other 340 that I have is, except for it having some wider options on it. Now, if we come down here and turn it over on its back, you'll notice that I am rocking my typical two pouches here on the front shoulder straps. So this is the pouch that I actually keep my camera in to be able to grab that quickly. And then this pouch uh, is what I typically keep my phone in, my headphones and all the stuff that I wanna easily access throughout the day. However, I'll probably be carrying my other camera lens in here and then I'll be carrying my phone in one of these side pouches. Now this pack does have a one inch removable hip belt and most of the times I'll probably be hiking without it. However, I do have the option to use it when I'm carrying uh, a larger water carry or I'm carrying extra food out of a town. Next up is the shelter that I'm gonna be using on this trail. And this is a new shelter for me over the past six months. And that is the Z-Pax Plexamid, which is a one person tent. Uh, and it only takes one trekking pole to set it up. It's lighter than my duplex. It takes up a little bit less room in the pack and it's just a new tent for me to try out. And then with that tent, I have 10 of these carbon core stakes. All right, next up, moving up to my sleep system up in this bag, which is a medium sized DCF roll top bag is my Enlightened Equipment Enigma 20. That is the same quilt that I carried on all of the PCT. So I'll be taking it on this trail as well. With that is the same pad that I've been using for years and that is the Thermarest Neo Air x Lite. That is a size large, so it's a little longer, a little bit wider. I get awesome sleep on it. You guys know that I would not do a trail without a pillow. That's my Sea to Summit Eros Ultralight Pillow. And next to that would be my new sleeping booties, which I used to have down booties. These are my Enlightened Equipment Sidekick Synthetic sleep booties. I get cold feet, so those are a must have for me. All right, next let's move over to electronics. That is my iPhone 7 Plus. Now, not only will I be using that to listen to music, make calls, but I will also be editing all of my on-trail video that I'll be posting here on YouTube. Sitting right next to that is the Rode Video Micro. That is the external microphone that I'll be carrying to film all of the shots and the footage that I'll be doing for the film out on the trail. Cruising on up is the Ultrapod 2. I love that tripod. It is basically the big brother of the one that I carried on the PCT. On top of that is the main camera that I'll be using to shoot everything on trail this year. 
and that is the Canon M50. And the lens that is on there right now is the Canon EF-M 22 millimeter. And then next to that is the secondary lens that I'll be using, which is the Canon EF-M 11 to 22, and that lens also has image stabilization built right in. Now, both of those lens have a ND filter, so these are variable ND filters on there. Cruising on up, this is a bigger battery than what I typically carry on my hikes. This is the Anchor 20,000 milliamp battery. I wanted to double my battery power for this trail just because I'm gonna be filming so much, not only for my YouTube videos, but also for the film. So I did up that. I have three extra camera batteries for my Canon, and then I have a set of SD cards. Now, right now there's only one card in there, but uh, that's because I'm using one to film. There's one of my other camera, but this thing will probably be filled up with about six cards. Over here is my SD to lightning card transfer. -er. Uh, that's what I'll be transferring all the footage from my camera to my phone to be able to edit my YouTube videos. A little anchor power brick to be able to charge two things at once when I get into a town. I have my battery charger for my camera batteries, two micro USB cables, and a lightning cable to charge my phone. And then all of that gear is sitting on top of a DCF ditty bag, and that is by Light AF Gear. All right, moving on over is my kitchen. So both of these items are sitting on top of a Z-Pax DCF food bag. It's the same food bag that I always carry on my trips. I will be cold soaking on this hike. So I have a Talenti jar and then my Sea to Summit long handle spoon. That is the one that I replaced my spork with that I lost on the PCT. Moving on down is some of the stuff from my medicine cabinet. So we have my Joshua Tree sunscreen lip balm, which I always like having on the trail. Uh, there's some ibuprofen and Tylenol. I have some CBD 500 milligram balm. I have a couple strips of KT tape in there, a pen, a tube of bag balm, which I really like for chapped lips. I like to be able to put that on my worn out dry feet as well. And then this little bag here is basically nothing but repair items. A patch kit for my mattress, some thread and some needle, and a little bitty roll of Luco tape. Moving on down are my sunglasses and a little soft bag. I have a lens cleaning cloth for my camera, which is that green thing, my little Spyderco knife, a Bic Mini lighter, a pair of nail clippers. Oh, I almost forgot a toothbrush and toothpaste. And then up here are my headphones that I'll use to listen to my music on the trail and edit, and my Yuko Air 150 rechargeable headlamp. So let's swing on over to a little bit of hygiene, a little bit of water storage. I have my Deuce of Spades trowel and a little wad of shit tickets. Cruising on up is my water storage and filtration. So this trip, I'm gonna be carrying the Sawyer Micro, and I have replaced the flip top on that with a kind of like a sports cap. I just like it a little bit better than the one that comes on there. And then that is sitting on top of a two liter knock water storage bag. Uh, my filter threads right onto it. That's the same one that I always use on the trail. And then above that, I have two life water bottles with the sports caps on those as well just for easier drinking to be able to flip that open while I am hiking. All right, so that takes care of all of my main gear. Now let's move on to my clothes. So the first set of clothes are the things that will be in my pack that I can use throughout the day or night. So up here is my thermal jacket, which is the Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex Synthetic Jacket. That's the same one that I've had for years. It is well over 3000 miles and hopefully it will last this hike as well. Moving down is my Z-Pax Burtis rain jacket. Super lightweight jacket. It is one of the most breathable rain jackets I've ever used on the trail. It's the same one I've had for the past year. So I'm taking it on this trail as well. And then underneath that are my enlightened equipment copper filled 7D wind pants. I have an extra pair of darn tough endurance socks. I have switched out my darn toughs I used to use the regular hiking crew. These are the short endurance socks. So they're just a little bit lighter. They breathe a little bit better. I have a pair of black diamond gloves. I have no clue what model those are. I picked those up in Bishop during my PCT hike 
and I'm still using them. Above that is the only real extra clothes that I like to bring on the trail, and that is an icebreaker merino wool t-shirt. I typically sleep in that, and it's what I wear in town. For this hike, I've decided to lighten up my tights a little bit, and instead of using my typical Nike tights, I'm gonna be using my Patagonia Capiline lightweight tights. So those paired with my wind pants make pretty good leg protection if it's, you know, if it's real cold outside. So those are really working out for me. And then above that is my knit beanie that I've had for years. It goes on all my hikes with me, so it's coming on this one as well. All right, so all that gear is what I will be carrying on my back in my pack. The next section is all the stuff that will be on me on my person. First up is my Arizona Trail Meshback cap. So when I wore on the PCT, I love that hat, so I'm gonna wear it on this trail. Under that is my long-lived buff, my green buff. I still can't kill the damn thing. It has a ton of holes in it. It's getting pretty thin, but uh, I'm gonna use it out here as well. My favorite hiking shirt, which is the Columbia Silver Ridge Long Sleeve shirt. That's a new one that I picked up for this trail. I wanted a little bit of a darker color. I don't know why, just because. And then underneath those are my short of choice, which are the five inch Nike Challenger running shorts. I have another pair of those darn tough short endurance socks. I have a pair of liners. Those are the Wigwam Coolmax liners. And then obviously the last thing on my feet are going to be my Ultra Olympus 3.0s. I recently did a review of these if you guys want to check that out. And the last thing on my gear list is one black diamond carbon cork trekking pole. I just basically need one to hike with anymore and to set my tent up. All right, guys, so that is it. That is everything that I'll be carrying on my through hike of the Arizona Trail to not only do the through hike, but to also film the documentary while I'm out there. Now, because I'm doing a film, I will be using extra filming equipment, but I'm gonna be using that before the hike and after the hike. And if you guys are camera geeks like me and you wanna see all that extra gear that I'm carrying before and after, uh, I'll put a link up here to that video and I'll put a link down below as well. So you can go check that out. And you can see everything that I'm gonna to use to film the documentary. So with all the gear that I showed you guys today, that's the filming equipment, that's everything that I laid out, uh, minus the clothes that are on my back, minus the food and water that I'll have, and my trekking pole, my main base weight for everything comes out to 12 pounds, one ounce, which I am really, really happy with that. When I started the PCT, I believe that my base weight was 12 pounds and five ounces, and I wasn't carrying all that extra camera equipment and electronics. So I'm pretty happy with the setup altogether. As you guys know, I will do a post-hike gear list talking about everything that I finished with, what worked, what didn't work, and then I will do individual gear reviews after I'm done with my hike. So keep an eye out for those. I'm super excited to get out there and hopefully you guys will be following along on my hike this year. I'm gonna be doing weekly videos here on YouTube and posting over on Instagram. If you guys wanna follow along on the production of the film a little closer, go check out AZT Film Project over on Instagram because Nemo and I will be doing a ton of behind the scene photos and Instagram stories to just kind of bring you guys along and get you a little closer to the production. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always guys, thanks for watching.